Hi guys, this is a quick review of the Weber Spirit 2. Uh, I think it's the E210 2 burner, the newest model. Uh, available at Home Depot and Lowe's for like $3.99, I think, right now. Weber uh, website says the MSRP is $4.99, so I'm not sure if that's going to go up, uh, but I took advantage of it. <clears throat> I haven't seen a lot of people post any reviews of this in actual use. Um, outside of like a showroom like actually burning so I thought someone else might be looking for one because I, I sure couldn't find it I just hooked up uh, I built this myself I did not uh, get the pre-assembled I wanted to know how it went together um, and uh, I just hooked up the gas part outside of course it's raining so we'll see what we get out of this So, what I actually wanted to do, let me shut this off real quick. I want to show you guys, sure some people like myself would uh, like to see what the burners actually look like when they're shooting out of flame. Um, because you can't, you know, like I said, this thing's brand new, so there's nothing in there. Yeah, that's already hot. I'm going to wait just a second. Yeah. <clears throat> The middle one that that one doesn't there's just i don't know just how it comes but there's no burner under the middle one wow uh these are the flavorizer flavorizer bars of course okay so i've taken the uh flavorizer uh bars there out so that you can see uh the actual burners they're they're, they're really nice burners i mean they're stainless steel they're nicer than i've seen on any other brand charbroil etc um looked to be a really good quality and in that short 10 seconds it, it heated up really fast um, so there you go and we'll turn this one on and you see it picks on right away turns on yeah it's really nice i'm not sure if you guys can see that it's a good quality burn well of course it's this is brand new this so this is the first firing it's the uh, pretty sweet, that's a grease, uh, or I'm sorry, a grease uh, dripping pan. And if you can't tell, I don't make these videos very often. Um, and this is really neat, so you can just buy these replaceable pieces of foil, these uh, foil pans, and slide it. It's super, uh, super easy and quick to switch out that grease. Uh, so that looks really nice. This is easy to get into if you have to. I'm going to turn this back off just so I don't burn myself putting these back in. And, uh, yeah, I'll take another video when I got something on here. Okay, guys, so I had, <clears throat> I brought this thing to half, I, I turned it on at half heat. It took about five minutes to get to 300 degrees. And then I pumped it up to full heat just to see what it would do. And another about, about another five minutes to get to about 550. I've turned it back down to, I guess, a little bit more than half. And... Came back out after about five or six minutes making some burgers and we're still at 550 degrees. So it's holding its heat really nice, a lot better than that old charbroil that I had. Uh, so I got a thunderstorm rolling in, of course. I built this thing almost a week ago and we've just had really bad weather after work so I haven't had a chance to cook. But I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm just going to do this. Uh, we, we got a couple of bison burgers uh, just so I can get something on there. So. Probably not going to be the camera, so I might put it on the camera for a second, guys. There we go. All right, I was able to get the patty off so you guys can hear the sizzle. Oh, that's nice. That's the next one. Oh, there we go. Sorry, I got the camera like that. Sorry, guys. Um. So, anyways. Oh yeah, she's smoking already. This smells, ooh, I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review. It's a really crappy review. I, I don't really do these a lot. Um, this thing is, I put this together and I was really impressed by the quality of the uh, components that they send you. The fact that Weber, they, uh, on the inside, you can't see it, but they, they spot weld all of the bolts. Uh, so all you have to do really is just 
uh, put the screw in the hole, literally. Um, there's not a whole lot of aligning to do. You don't have to be worried about squaring it up too much. There's a couple spots where you have to loosen things up to make things slide in, but I think that literally, I think that was like one time. Um, really nice quality on, on, on these hinges. This one, the only thing I don't like, I guess, is I wish that both of them went down, but they can't because you have a tank on that side. Um, but this one does collapse. Uh, just can't show you well. So that does collapse down. Uh, means you can store it in a tighter spot like say you want to put it on your patio or something like that uh, I have a screen in the porch and I don't want it out there so hope you <laughs> hope this helped guys it, it looks to be doing its job just fine yeah the heat's nice it's holding its temperature it's still above 500 after having it hood up a couple times um, I'm impressed so far worth the extra 150 bucks 200 bucks thanks guys